Hello, Crystal Honeycutt here. I wanted to do an emotional freedom technique video in response to a very brave statement from the Facebook question that I posed yesterday, which was, what do you think is the unconscious or true belief behind your self-loathing? And one brave person said that she feels that her ultimate belief is that she's not worthy of love. And this one speaks really strongly to me because the belief that I am not worthy of love absolutely factored into my own disordered eating problems. So I want to do a video to demonstrate how you can use EFT to lift those feelings, that stress response, out of your physical body so that you can interrupt the negative feedback cycle that reinforces those, those negative beliefs that hold us back, especially from uh, loving ourselves. So let's start off with the statement. Even though I believe that I'm not worthy of love, I choose in this moment to love and accept myself anyway. Even though I do not believe I am worthy of love, I deeply love and accept myself right now. Even though there's a part of me that truly believes I am not worthy of love, I choose to love and accept myself in this moment. Tapping through the points. I must not be worthy of love. I have evidence to that. People have been cruel to me. They've taken advantage of me. They violated my own sacred space with their thoughts and their opinions and their judgments. I have felt powerless because of this. There are things that I cannot change. I have no influence over. No matter how hard I try, no matter what I do, I'm not perfect, and I must not be lovable. My body seems to betray me, and when I look in the mirror, all I feel is disappointment, because I must not be worthy of love. I must not be worthy of unconditional love. There must be something wrong with me, so wrong with me, that others would treat me as they have. And it must be my fault. Can't be their fault. Must be my fault. And so I need to hate myself. I need to tear myself down. I need to deny myself because I'm not good enough, because I'm not good enough, because I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy of love. Okay, take a deep breath. Those were my words and my experience works best when you use your own words. So if that didn't really get into the heart of this for you, go back, do it again, and use the words that feel most authentic for you. So I want you to move into your subconscious. And on a scale of one to 10, zero meaning, I no longer feel that I am unworthy of love, which is a yay. And 10 being, I still believe that I am unworthy of love, I want you to rate how you're feeling now. I would say that the intuitive number that comes up for me is a three. That means that there's our small piece of me that's going to challenge the assumption that I am whole and worth loving unconditionally. This is a big one for me. And by the way, I've been working on it for many, many years. For you, hopefully, you're feeling less stress. When you check in with that statement of, am I worthy of love, I want you to feel yes. Now, through the tapping process, 
you might have actually had memories resurface, words that were said, images, feelings, all of this that is connected, that reinforces that belief that you're not worthy of love, especially in regards to your physical body. If more has come up for you, take those things one at a time and tap through them. If, a, if there are, uh, <clears throat> for me, a large piece of my feeling of not being worthy was having been given up for adoption. And so for me, I've had to do a lot of processing on that I'm good enough, I'm worth loving, and that um, I don't have to prove that I'm lovable. That is a real life experience that reinforced the coding in my subconscious that I'm not worthy of love unless I attain a perfect scale, which I logically know is impossible. But there's a part of me still that isn't fully accepting that I can be loved without being perfect. Tap on this as much as you want. The inherent feeling of not being worthy of love is deep. It is profound. There is a deep trauma there. But it doesn't mean that it cannot be healed. And self-love is the best way to begin that process. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for being brave and sharing your truth and your reality. Because once you can share that and acknowledge that, you have the power, the magic, the ability to transform your reality into what you desire it to be. Have a blessed day.